Happy 2022! Wait, happy 2022! Woohoo! For the first video of the new year, I thought it would only be fit and right to film me putting together a dream board slash vision board. Every year, like I watch a few YouTubers who do this and I've never actually made a dream board, a vision board. And this year I was watching a YouTuber called Luna Montana and she does one every single year. And I just think it's such a cute visual representation of like the goals you want to achieve and what you want to do in the new year. Today we're going to be speaking about 2022 goals while I put together my vision board and we're going to discuss what I want for the new year. Okay, let's get into it. First, let's reflect on 2021. 2021 was really wild, really rough, really sad, really depressing. Definitely a very tough year mentally, emotionally, but we made it to the end and we're in 2022. And this year is all about fresh starts, new beginnings, I don't know, a new chapter. It's the start of something new. High School Musical. <laughs> and hopefully I can use this to sort of manifest what I want for this year for myself. The first thing that I am deeming very important for this year is being more in touch with nature, which means watching more sunrises and more sunsets. So I want to watch more sunrises, watch more sunsets, be more intentional about spending time in nature and in the outdoors and getting fresh air. I watch plenty of sunsets, but it would be quite interesting to push myself to watch more sunrises, especially in summer when the sun rises really early. And then obviously everyone knows that I am transferring to Stellenbosch this year. And with that becomes a new campus to explore and a new town to explore and new surrounding areas to explore. So the next thing I'm putting on my vision board is a photo of the Stellenbosch campus and then also a photo of a Stellenbosch wine farm because I want to explore and get to know Stellenbosch which means obviously the wine farms because it is a wine town. And then also going along with the theme of last, the last goal I just put on about watching more sunrises and more sunsets, another way I want to be more intentional about spending time in nature that also ties in with getting to know Stellenbosch and the area and the town is going on hikes. I love hiking. And I think last year I only went on like one hike and I literally love hiking. And I think a really nice way to explore Stellenbosch and its mountainous areas and its trails is to do hiking. So that's definitely a goal of mine this year. Next is a very, very, very important one for me. So obviously last year, the beginning of the year, I was um, at Rhodes and part of the reason that I absolutely hated Rhodes is because everything was online and going to a new university, obviously you want to get out and get to know people and meet new people. But another issue that I came to realise that is very pertinent in my life is the fact that I hate spending time alone. Like I'm not comfortable going running errands by myself, going to a restaurant by myself, getting a coffee by myself. I'm a very um, dependent person where I want to be very independent and comfortable spending time by myself. This year I want to push myself to enjoy time, the time I spend by myself and take myself on dates, especially when I'm in Stellenbosch and everything's so accessible, like I could walk and get a coffee. But I really want to push myself this year to become more comfortable with spending time alone, which is why I've included this photo, because this is probably in 2021 where I was at my like lowest mentally and emotionally. And it's when I was alone at Rhodes. So I'm using that as kind of motivation to not repeat that. Ooh, not repeat that this year. This next goal of mine is probably one of my biggest goals for the whole year. And while it ties in with everything I've already spoken about and it doesn't negate the fact that I need to learn to spend time alone. But friends. I'm transferring to a new town where I don't know many people. I'm having new roommates, new flatmates. Um, and I just want to make more friends but i also while i want to make new friends and i want to expand my friendship circle and push myself to be out there and make friends i also want to um prioritize the important people that i already have in my life 
So I want to make new friends, but I also want to find genuine connections and then prioritize those connections and go out of my way to make sure the people in my life know that I want them there. And then throughout the vision board, I'm going to have like little words that I kind of want to hone in on. Going with this side of the vision board is the word confident. So that pertains to confidence in my friend making abilities, confidence in my ability to spend time alone, confidence in the relationships I already have. And then another one that's going at the top of the vision board is growth. That's pretty self-explanatory. This whole year and kind of every year, you don't want to remain stagnant. You kind of want to push yourself and force yourself to grow and learn and evolve. This year is definitely the year where I want to prioritize that as well. Then going on to the left side of the vision board, I want to make it a goal of mine to read more because I love reading. I literally love reading. It's like one of my favorite things to do, but often like it gets pushed to the side so I can prioritize other things. But this year already I've read two books and it's not even the 10th of Jan. So I'm doing really well for myself and I wanna like keep that going throughout the new year. And reading ties in with the main book that I wanna focus on this year, which is Atomic Habits by James Clear. Um, it's been a book that I've wanted to read for almost two years now. And it's obviously about habits and setting up good habits and getting rid of bad habits, which I kind of think will be a good thing to do this year, I guess. I think I have pretty good habits, but I also have a lot to learn about setting habits and changing habits and all of that stuff. And then this one is a very, the word pertinent comes to mind, important, relevant goal of mine this year as a student that is living by herself, well with roommates, but a student that isn't living with her parents money <laughs> money obviously you know i just want to save money and i want to learn to save money i've set myself the goal of saving 150 rand per week for the year which means by the end of the year i would have saved 7800 rand if i save 150 rand per week if not it's fine so i have this chick that just has gang cash um which is funny and then I also have this little jar that says save that has some coins on it. And then I also have this quote that says money flows easily to me. Cool. And then obviously this kind of doesn't really lend itself to uh, saving money at all. But this year I want to get more tattoos. <laughs> it's not really a goal so much as a dream. And while this is a vision board, it's also a dream board. So my dream for myself for this year is to get more tattoos. Which I think is exciting. Yeah, I'm just including a, this goal of Pinterest that has like a bunch of tattoos and then also a photo of me getting my first ever tattoo, which is really exciting. So that's going on there as like a visual reminder that I can conquer the world. <laughs> and then my next thing that is going on here is just the YouTube logo. And this is just a visual reminder of the fact that YouTube is a fun hobby for me. It's a creative outlet. It's an accomplishment that I can set for myself every single week. And if I don't get anything else done, at least I can get a video up. And then uh, ve another very important thing as a student who is living with other students is cooking. If you know me, you know that I can't cook. So I'm sticking this Funny. I thought this was really funny because it looks like the Salt Bay guy. My main goal for the year cooking wise is to be able to make gnocchi and I feel I will feel the most accomplished in my cooking ability when I can make gnocchi. Oh another very important thing for me this year is trying to find a mode of exercise that I enjoy. So I know a lot of people at the, in the new year they're like their resolution is to exercise more and while that is a goal of mine I also just want to lean more into the type of exercise I'm doing because if you enjoy the exercise you're doing you're more likely to want to do it. So this year I want to lean more into exploration of exercise. So that's a big thing for me this year is exploring different types of exercise so i have a lady doing two well two ladies doing yoga and then i have a lady on a treadmill running because i've always wanted to be a runner but it's really just not for me <laughs> um and then tied in with that is the fact that i want to explore meditation because i watch so many youtubers that meditate for like 10 minutes in the morning and every single one of them are like 
it actually makes a difference in their day. So I just have this, I think it's like a YouTube video that I've taken the thumbnail off of and it just says 10 minute meditation. But that is the energy I want to embody this year. And then the last word, well the last single word that I would like to include on here is Miss Independent. And that goes with what I was saying earlier about wanting to be more confident in spending time by myself. Also, Miss Independent kind of ties into uh, my relationships and not being so dependent on other people for my happiness. And then maybe the most important thing about this whole spread is the main mantra, manifestation, saying that I'm wanting to take into the new year. But it's, I wanna basically go into the new year with the saying on my mind all at all times. And it says, present, patient, peaceful. Um, and it's actually a quote about butterflies, which is another important thing I'm gonna get to in a second. But present, patient, peaceful. I just, those three words, the three Ps, they're the main things that I wanna take into the new year. I wanna be more present, more aware of what's going on, more in the moment. I wanna be patient about my growth, about my confidence, about reaching my goals, about exploring and then obviously peaceful i just peaceful and content with where i am at the end of the year so those three words are very important to me this year and then finally the last thing that i am putting on my vision board for 2022 is just a whole bunch of butterflies butterflies for me this year have taken on a whole new meaning my therapist the one day we were discussing how i felt like i was in a period of like being stagnant in my life and obviously a whole bunch of things have played into why that is so but doing university online and feeling like I'd made no new friends for the year and like I wasn't growing or I wasn't moving on in life I wasn't evolving I was just like waking up like I didn't feel motivated to do anything and she explained to me the metaphor of a butterfly and how when a butterfly is in its cocoon it's growing and evolving but not visually if that makes sense like you can't when a butterfly is in its cocoon turning from a worm and a caterpillar into a butterfly you can't see it until it emerges and we were just talking about how that period or that time of transition from caterpillar to butterfly is like my 2021 year how at the end of the year i'm going to emerge or at a later stage i'm going to emerge out of this period of stagnancy and i'm going to emerge as this butterfly and even though i'm not seeing the growth now when a butterfly is in its cocoon you don't see the growth it just happens you know so that's why this whole this whole board is just going to be filled with a whole bunch of pretty pink butterflies and i am so content with that so yeah that's my vision board and i'm so excited to stick it all down okay and here is my 2022 vision board dream board if you will um i really love it so much and i really loved this exercise of thinking about 2022 and my goals and what i want for my year but yeah i hope you have a really great 2022 a great new year. I hope this year is good to you and that you achieve all of your goals. Thanks so much for watching and look forward to many new videos from me this year.